Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to be doing some meal prep with you guys. I'm going to show you the two things that I am eating this week and I can't even wait. So I have a pot here that I'm going to be boiling some chickpea pasta and I have a, um, a um, frying pan where I'm going to be melting some butter. In here I am putting chickpea pasta, which is right here. This is a pasta that I just started eating. Uh, Thomas DeLauer had something on his channel that said um, that women over the age of 50 should have some um, chickpea pasta in their diet. And he goes into the whole scientific breakdown. Now I'm not 50 yet, but I will be this year. So um, it, it doesn't have bad, car, uh, bad um, stats as far as carbs and stuff, but it does have great protein. So for two ounce serving, it is 190 calories, three and a half fat, 34 carbs, eight of which is protein, I mean, eight of which is fiber, two total sugars, and 11 protein. So I'm going to eat in two ounce increments. Into that pasta, my husband chopped me up some of these olives, some of these fire roasted peppers. They are right here into here. He did it all for me yesterday so I could just boil my pasta and it makes it easier for me. I have a huge block of feta. Obviously, I will not use this whole block um, and some olive oil. And so I'm going to put that in there once the pasta is done. And that is going to be one dish that I'm going to eat off of. Now, while I was at Trader Joe's, I just found this and it is um, feta pepper drop and olive antipasto, which is exactly basically what I'm going to make. Um, so I've just been eating off this because I'm kind of hungry at the moment. So I've just been kind of eating that. In this pan, this is um, butter. And so I have that melting. And basically, this is going to be for my whitefish, which I have pollock. A fresh Atlantic boneless, skinless filet of pollock. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. So... I love cooking seafood. I always have. I've cooked seafood a bunch of times. Um, I think I'm going to need to use scissors to open this pack. Um, but with the price of seafood, I haven't had it too often. Um, I did have uh, buy some shrimp. And yesterday I went on a date with my husband and we went to um, a... Uh, place out here called 110 Grill. I don't know if you guys have one, but basically I ended up yesterday having um, prosciutto wrapped cod and it was delicious. So I'm going in now that the butter is melted and I'm going in with the fish right in there. You can hear it. It's only on medium heat. And basically, I'm going to add my seasoning to the top of the fish. Let me grab a paper towel. Get something to drink. I'm thirsty today. Uh, so thirsty. And so basically, I am going to fry this. And on top of this, I am using everything but the bagel seasoning. I am also using onion salt. Then I'm using some salt-free garlic and herb from Fresh Jacks, which is a great company. And then last but not least, chili and lime are two um, flavors that I really, really, really like on my fish. So, you know, lemon and lime go on fish anyways. Um, so I put that on. So those are the four seasonings that we're using on our fish. So I'm just going to be moving this around. Um, fish does not take long to cook at all. Um, it actually cooks pretty fast. Um, I don't know if I have any non-stick, non-stick, um, yeah, note to self, I need non-stick things. So I'm gonna have to flip it with this when it's ready. Um, even though that's a non-stick pan, gotta do what you gotta do. This is coming on to a boil. This only takes, let's see, 
seven to nine minutes. Al dente perfection, it says, seven to nine minutes. So I'm going to put this on, and I'm gonna put a timer on for nine minutes. So I won't overcook it. So basically, I am going to just let this cook, let this go ahead and get um, where I'm ready to drain it and then uh, put it in with the uh, olives and the peppers. While I'm waiting, I'm going to actually start chopping up my feta cheese. Now, I asked my husband, we usually get um, uh, containers of feta, um, like... I don't know what you'd call it, but basically we'd get like little jars of it, I guess you would call it. Um, but this time we got a block. So I asked my husband, do I cut it? Do I crumble it? How is it gonna, gonna do? He said, if you wait till I get home, I'll, I'll do it for you. But for the sake of this video, I'm doing it myself. Um, so basically I, yeah, I mean, it's, it doesn't look too hard. I guess it kind of crumbles. Yeah, I'll show you guys. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it kind of crumbles. I could crumble it or I can cut it with a knife. I don't know. I just don't want it too much because I don't want it just to be all cheese, you know? And I think that antipasto that I bought um, from Trader Joe's, I think that I'm going to actually um, just dump that in here too because I think that contains enough of the olive oil I'm going to need. Yeah, I, I see that, I guess. Oh, actually I can crumble it with my fingers. Oh yeah, that works better. Yep, crumbled is the answer. So I'm gonna open up this stuff that my husband had already done for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and just crumble in the feta because that seems like that. Ooh, that smells good. It smells nice and from the fire roasted tomatoes or peppers rather. Yeah, fired roasted peppers. Um, yeah, this is good. I think he, he also put tomatoes in here too, now that I look. So add that to your meal if you guys are uh, gonna be making the same thing here with the pasta. All right, my hands are all cheesy. Now I gotta flip over. I don't know if my trick will work with my little uh, wooden spatula. Yeah, see that that fish is just almost done because you can see. Sorry, I gotta move my water on here below it so it don't over. Um, but basically, yeah, that fish you can see that one side is already cooked through, so it's really only gonna be a few minutes on the other side, and we should be golden, or the fish will be golden. Ha ha ha! You didn't know I was a comedian. Anyhow, so yeah, so I'm just going to do this feta like this. And then once I drain that pasta, I can just throw this all in there once the pot cools off. Give it a nice little stir. And then I should be able to um, have that all prepped. Yeah, that's good. I love, um, I don't know about you guys, but I love things that are so simple to make. Like things that you can heat up if you want or you can eat cold. These shishito peppers that um, I was talking about on another video, my husband's going to be making those and they come out so good and we just keep them in a container and I just throw them right in the microwave when I want some. My husband will eat them cold, um, but he uh, basically boil, uh, broils them until the um, skin is like nice and brown and bubbly. Um, then he adds all his amazing stuff to it. Ugh so good so those we really want to keep on hand all the time he's like that'll be great mm. overdose on the feta <laughs> can you really overdose on cheese i don't think so all right let me wash my hands have to wash my hands get the feta off get ready for the rest of this, get some more paper towels. All right. Yeah, this looks great. Sticking a little bit, but not too much. Oh yeah, that's great. 
gonna add a little bit more butter to that fish, just so it doesn't um, lose that flavor and also so it doesn't stick. Yeah, that's great. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, I love fish. I think seafood is probably my favorite. Love seafood, followed by Mexican. If, if uh, you know, if we want to talk about like a favorite restaurant, Mexican would be it. Oh, I'm so thirsty. This, incidentally, is from Iron Flask. Come in different colors, 40 ounces, straws. They give you replacement straws. Mm. Oh, that's from Amazon. So now we got this. This looks good. Bunch of feta, tomatoes, olives. Got four more minutes according to my uh, timer that I set on this. Let me grab the... Uh, Strainer. What do you guys call this? A strainer? A colander? What do you guys call it? I call it a strainer. What do you call dinner? Dinner or supper? You guys, I'm having a little fun today. The sun is out. I'm feeling good. The weather's changing. We're having fun over here. I'm in a good spot, I'm in a good place. I'm glad my surgery is over. Um, I am just praying for peace in Ukraine, oh, excuse me, Ukraine, Russia. I have friends there from our church in Russia and in Ukraine. We pray for them every day at three o'clock Eastern time on our church's website, on Facebook. Um, that's all I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for a resolution. I'm hoping gas prices and food prices come down. Um, I'm so grateful. I feel so blessed. Um, God is just so encouraging. So, all right, I'm going to shut this fish off now. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can see it. It's just flaky. It's not, um, burnt. Those are the spices that are on there. It's just perfectly flaky. And then as I'm leaving it here, on here like this, it's gonna be perfect. So it says I have two more minutes on this pasta. How do you guys like my shirt today? I really like it. Um, because I've lost the weight, now I'm down to 169. I really feel more confident. Um, as I said in another video, like right here, from doing uh, certain exercises, I feel like it's um, getting big, uh, littler. I don't wanna kick my plant. But this is me, I feel good, I feel confident. Again, um, I'm glad to be back in the 160s. So yeah, so the fish is done basically. I will put this in a little container. Uh, normally I weigh it out but it's not a huge amount so but let's see we have 30 seconds so i'm going to get ready to strain this in my strainer sorry i'm making a lot of noise i have to move over all my stuff all right i can shut the timer off now so it doesn't beep while we're here cooking that looks good have my stuff already. I don't know. Maybe it looks not done yet. Hmm. I'm going to keep it a little bit. A few minutes longer. But yeah, this fish looks amazing. Look at how flaky it is. It's just so flaky, so white, light, airy. I love fish. I tell you guys I love fish. So yeah, so I just came back from Trader Joe's. I filmed a food haul for you guys. Earlier I filmed an update. So I'm gonna get these out rolling for you guys. So I'll have an update, a food haul from Trader Joe's and a meal prep um, video. So yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying while I have the time. I'm trying over here. 
and I'm um, looking for more subscribers. So if you can get me more subscribers, I'd appreciate it. I have a TikTok as well. All right, let's drain this, drain this, whatever we say now it is. I want to cool off the pan. So I am filling it with cold water. Just over here getting my pasta all nice and cold like not cold cold but enough that it's not cooking anymore all right so I'm gonna return this to the stove I'm gonna add all of my things my husband's so good to me making me all this stuff pre-done so it's easy for me he's a gem I know it I don't take him for granted at all I think we don't take each other for granted, honestly. I think we both take really good care of each other in life. All right, maybe I'm gonna add a little bit of this, maybe all of it, let's see. Because this is what I got from Trader Joe's and this actually has oil in it already. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I think that's good. Ooh, it looks good, you guys. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. I'm gonna try some. That's what's really gonna be the test. This is what it looks like. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, this is my husband's idea. What a great idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I will be eating off of this today. Or not today, this week. And then I'll be having some fish um, as another dish for the week. You'll see me, guys, when I give my update, you'll see me on my haul video. And you'll also see me when I come back with more meal prepping. If you guys have any questions or you wanna see me make something, comment below and let me know. Love you guys.